this lesson we're going to be talking about wave period and wave frequency. If you don't know what they are, or you get the words mixed up, or you don't know how to calculate wave period and wave frequency, then this is definitely the video that you want to watch. We're going to start out with a couple of simple definitions. The first definition is wave period. Wave period is the time measured in seconds for one wavelength to pass a given point in space. And wave frequency is simply the number of waves that pass a point per second. Look at the wave I've drawn right here. I can make this wave move from left to right. Just like that. When that wave moves from left to right, you see several things happen. First of all, the time it takes the wave to move from left to right is two seconds. The second thing that you notice is that during that time, two and a half wavelengths move past that point in space, the arrow. So we have a time of two seconds and we have 2.5 waves. With that information, we should be able to calculate the wave's frequency. How do we do that? Well, if you look at the definition for wave frequency, wave frequency is defined as the number of waves per second. You notice that that is waves per second. And what that means is waves divided by seconds. So, in other words, if you divide the number of waves that pass a given point by the time it takes for the waves to pass, you will get the frequency of the wave in waves per second. So let's go ahead and do that. Frequency is waves divided by seconds. If we set that problem up, we have 2.5 waves divided by 2.0 seconds. Work it out, and it comes out to 1.25 waves per second. But we don't want to use waves per second as our unit of measurement. In, in common wave nomenclature, frequency is normally measured in a unit called the hertz. One hertz is equal to, in this case, one wave per second or one cycle per second. So the answer is going to look like that. 1.25 hertz. That is the frequency of this wave. 1.25 hertz. Well, here are some of the things that we should know up to this point. Two definitions. Wave period. Wave period is the time measured in seconds for one wavelength to pass a given point in space. Wave frequency is simply the number of waves per second, and that's going to be measured in hertz or cycles per second or waves per second. Wave frequency is measured in waves per second. Now that was that important concept that you learned on that last slide. Wave period is measured in seconds per wave. Now look at these two. One of the things that you notice is that there is a very interesting relationship between these two. That relationship is this. Wave frequency is measured in waves per second. Wave period is measured in seconds per wave. They are opposites of each other or inverses of each other. And since they're inverses of each other, what that means for you is that if you know one of these, the frequency or the period, you can calculate the other. All you have to do is find the inverse of the value that you know. If you know the frequency, you can find the inverse of that and find the period of the wave. Wave frequency is the inverse of the wave period. It looks like this. Frequency equals 1 divided by tau. And that tau, that little symbol right there, that little thing that looks like a T, that is actually the Greek letter tau and it stands for the period of the wave. And of course, the F stands for frequency. So the frequency is the inverse of the period of the wave. 
we also know that the period of the wave is the inverse of the frequency. Remember I said they're inverses of each other. So if I know the frequency, I can calculate the period. And if I know the period, I can calculate the frequency. So if you know one, you can calculate the other. Let's go ahead and do that. We know what the frequency of this wave is. It's 1.25 hertz. We calculated that just a minute ago. Now let's go ahead and find the wave period. And to do that, we're going to use that frequency. The wave period. The period of the wave is the inverse of the frequency. Remember that that little symbol that looks like a T is actually the Greek letter tau. It stands for the period of the wave. Tau, the period of the wave, is equal to 1 divided by 1.25 hertz. In other words, the inverse of the frequency of this particular wave. The period of this wave then is equal to 1 divided by 1.25 and look at this unit right here. This unit of measurement is 1 over s. That's the hertz that you see right there. Hz is actually written as 1 over s. That's the inverse. 1 over s. So when we solve this problem, that second comes down here and that is our unit of measurement in the answer. So the period of the wave is 0.8 seconds. In other words, it takes 0.8 seconds for one wavelength to pass a given point in space for this particular wave. Wave period. Remember, wave period is the time measured in seconds for one wavelength to pass a given point in space. And wave frequency is the number of waves per second. Here's a problem. Let's see if you can solve this problem. Go ahead and pause the video. Solve the problem and then turn it back on and we'll go over it together. So go ahead and pause the video now. All right, if you're back, let's go ahead and solve this. The period of this wave is the inverse of the frequency. That would be the inverse of 0 0.046 hertz. And when we solve that, it comes out to 21.7 seconds, and that is the answer. The period of this wave is 21.7 seconds. Another problem? Solve this one. Pause the video, solve it, then turn the video back on and we'll go over it together. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, if you're back, what is the frequency of a wave with a period of 0.87 seconds? We know the period of this wave is 0.87 seconds. And the frequency is the inverse of the period. So the frequency is 1 divided by 0.87 seconds. And that gives us a frequency of 1.1 hertz. And that is the answer. Well, hopefully you got something out of this little lesson. You should now understand the difference between wave frequency and wave period. You should understand how they're calculated. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And go ahead, please, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.